Howdy folks, Daniel Rubino here at WPCentral.com. I'm going to give you a quick look here at Sonic Jewel 7. Now this is the update that's coming out to the marketplace real soon. And it's going to bring sound to the system finally. Yes, you guys asked for it and the developer finally came through with it and it works exceptionally well. I'm very happy with it. So for those of you who don't remember, of course, Sonic Jewel 7 is a Sega game gear and master system emulator for Windows Phone. It works really well. See our previous video on it. I'm a big fan of it, mostly because it's so well designed. I'm not going to go through all the same stuff as before. You can watch our old video for that. But let's do choose and play. I'm just going to give you an example of the sounds. So we'll do Alex Kidd and Shinobi World. And we'll just hit play. I think I have already a saved state here. And there you go with the sound. And <laughs> I keep dying. Oh. <laughs> so, as you can tell, though, you get the idea. <laughs> It has sound. And it's been working for everyone so far. I haven't had a single problem. We can do Sonic here. And of course we do full landscape. I'm just doing it the other way for you right now. Anyways, like I said, you get the idea. That is Sonic Drill 7, the update with the sound. I'm running a course on a Titan here with a 1.5 gigahertz CPU, meaning I get the most out of <laughs> this system. If you go to settings, you'll see over here under sound, there's a new section, you have activate sound. And you'll see under frame skip, all frames, Gen 2 devices. Now, the Titan 2 is going to get, or the Titan and Titan 2 actually both get the most out of this, seeing as that they have the fastest CPUs. So I can do all frames, Gen 2. I have no problems, no skips, no issues with sound enabled. For people with the older devices, though, you may want to go skip 1 or skip 2 or even skip 3 frames because the sound will, you know, use a little bit more CPU. And on the old generation devices, you may not get as much. At least you have the options here. You can kind of slow down the uh, the graphics a little bit and you won't notice a degradation gameplay which is the important thing here or you can of course disable sound if you choose to do so but I haven't really seen any performance issues with this so I'm very excited about it hopefully you'll see this update coming in the marketplace in the next couple days it's really good it's buck 29 for the emulator big fan of it uh, the developers done a great job with this and now with sound it really kind of completes the whole experience so there you go Sonic Drill 7 update coming to the marketplace take care everybody